So I'm at the back of my shelter here and I've got an issue. There's a hill that runs down to the back of this shelter. And when we get a little bit of rain, it's not a problem. But when we get a lot, I get a whole river flowing down this hill. So I need to divert that water around the shelter to stop it coming through the wall. So I'm going to need a tool to be able to dig this ground. That's what I'm going to do in this video, make a tool. Thanks for watching. Let's get into it. Right, I've collected two bits of wood. If I can hang on to them. This is gonna be my handle, this is gonna be the head. Right, so I've got those cleaned up. What I've got to do is I'm gonna lash maybe there because I've got to split this pole for the next stage of what I'm gonna do here. And um yeah, stay tuned. Just gonna take the bark off of that end part. Just so that when I go to lash it, I don't have to worry about it getting loose from the bark drying out. what I'm kind of dealing with. So I've started out with my Leatherman because it's a smaller blade and what I'm going to do I can drive a wedge in there rather than have a, a knife that I'm going to potentially cut myself. I'll go two inches from the end so that I can have enough room there to do some binding on the end of it to hold it all together. So I've cut those grooves in there, and now I'm just taking out the timber in between. Just being careful not to not to completely tear the end of the wood out. But so far, so good. All right, now I've got that hogged out. You can see if I close it up, I've got a nice little uh, slot there. Now the fun part, I've got to take this and make this fit inside that. So I've got to thin it down, but I don't want to thin the whole thing down. I only want to thin down a section in here and leave the rest thick. So that when I slide that in there and, and lock it up, it can't pull through or either way. I want to make this slightly larger than that. So that when this is closed up, this piece, I want it to be slightly bigger than that. So I can't completely close this up once it's in there and that'll hold it all in nice and tight there's not gonna be any wobbling and it's not gonna be able to pull out so um yeah start cutting all right so I've cut that out check that out there and I've also cut a wedge now I'm gonna try to drive that wedge in the side here to spread that apart get that open now, if I go too crazy, I'll snap this whole thing off. But I've got to get it enough so that gap there is larger than that gap there, so I can actually get this piece in there. Try again. And that's all it really is. Try it. Pull it apart, try it, pull it apart until you can get that to go in there. Alright. Hopefully this time. All 
Right, she's in there. You can keep working on it so you can close that completely up. But the more you do that, the thinner you're going to make this, so it's more chance that it's going to snap later on. So I'm going to leave it like that, which will allow me to bind that on and really pull it in tight on that head. You could leave it like that and, and turn it into a mallet. So you could have a mallet for driving in pegs or whatever like that. You could shorten the handle. But I don't want that. I need to dig a trench, so I need to turn this into a hoe. And, you know, when you're all alone out here in the bush, it's good to have a hoe around. Now if I put this back in, I'm left with something like that, which will work. As I go around it, I'm going to throw in half hitches all the way so that will continually lock it off to keep it tight and stop it coming loose. And I can step on that to pull it tight. Well there it is, finished hoe. Now the uh, hard work's done of making this thing, I can dig a trench. Thanks for watching.